On January 20th, I came to work like I always do. After parking my car, I have to head up to my office. I sometimes grab breakfast, but today was a little different. Everyone was talking about a crazy email, and I hadn't gotten to my desk yet. I tried not to think too much about it. I needed to walk over to my desk first. Sometimes I feel like we have a little too much branding. The plants are nice, and I do like seeing the video game decor. Before I start work, I like to get coffee at this cafe. Looks like it's ready. I always have to start my day sitting in this amazing spot. Once I'm done, I finally have to walk over to my desk and get working. Seems like everyone else has a meeting this morning. My desk is this really empty one over here. No, I don't use dual monitors. I have to spend a little bit of time working. First I check my emails, my calendar, and then start working on projects that's due in a few months. If I'm lucky, I might even get something in later today. If not, my team is usually pretty understanding if I need some more time on what I'm working on. What I work on is whatever our project managers think is important. They work with UX designers to design the product, and then it's up to engineers like me to code it up and make it happen. I'm going to get ready for lunch, but here's a nice look at my window succulent. Today I'm having hot dogs. There's usually a lot of other options, but there wasn't a line for this, and I'm a little hungry. I was a little stressed filming this because I was trying to get my food and make sure you guys could see it too. It might not be the healthiest choice, but I have to live on the edge once in a while. The cool thing about free lunch is that it gives you an awesome opportunity to get to know your coworkers. Next, I have to find a seat in the sea of people. While we're chatting, I get to enjoy this view of the Space Needle. Once lunch is over, I quickly make my way back to the micro kitchen. It's a little much that I have to badge everywhere I go. I'm feeling a little tired, so I'm going to grab something that's going to keep me going. There's a ton of fizzy water and drinks over here. I think I'll pick up this Red Bull. It might not be the best choice, but I gotta get my work done. Before I head back though, I need some new headphones. Gotta listen to some awesome music while I'm coding. I was about to head back to my office, but I got distracted. Look at this cute dog. Never mind. Dog doesn't look happy to see me. When I'm not coding, I'm either working on a design to rearrange some APIs, reading docs to learn about our product, or goofing off, I mean chatting with coworkers. After a long meeting, I try to relax from all the work I did today. But first let me text some friends that I'm going bouldering. Over here is the meditation room. It's a nice space to turn off my brain and stop thinking about coding. Then I head over to the gym. My back is killing me even if I have a standing desk. Sometimes I like to work out here, but I'm going bouldering later and I don't want to overexhaust myself. Here's our smaller gym. It's not an LA fitness, but it has everything you'd need at any gym. My back is pretty overwhelmed, and this hurts a lot more than it looks. It also starts to feel better the more I do it. Or maybe I just need better posture. Oh my goodness, I can feel that in my upper neck. But first check out this decor. I'm going to grab some dessert now. Over here you can fill out the crepe menu yourself and drop it off. 
but let me know when it's ready. I got some more coffee and this amazing crepe. Of course, because I'm on camera, I have to try to eat a little bit fancier than I usually do. I'm struggling anti vet to use a fork here, but it's pretty great. There's actually a Chinese New Year event going on, so I'm heading over to check it out. The line for this is way too long, but this dog almost makes the wait worth it. Oh wow, these events always remind me of college. We have some guests from the Wing Luke Museum. There's even coffee holics. Cheers to the year of the rabbit. So the sad thing about today was that there was an email from the CEO that said 12,000 wouldn't be here with us today. I don't really know how they picked who to let go of. It didn't matter if they were here for years or just joined. People on important and low impact projects were also affected. Junior and senior engineers were also let go of. I even had a standard performance rating this year, so I don't think that was important either. If I had to guess, it had to do with how much someone was being paid, and teams had to deal with budget requirements. I wouldn't say I'm special for any reason, I can only guess I'm just lucky to be here. Before I end my day, I'm heading out to go bouldering with some friends. On this one I made it to the top. That's all for me today before I head home.